Welcome to Whiskey is the Dream. My name is Peter Fasciano, and in today's video, I'm introducing a new series to the channel called Sip It or Skip It. So this is how it's gonna work. All of my whiskeys in my collection are put into a randomizer. I'm going to spin the randomizer, pull the whiskey off the shelf, pour it, taste it, give you my thoughts and opinions on it, and then I'm gonna let you guys know if I'm going to continue sipping it until the bottle's gone and buy another bottle, or once the bottle's gone, I'm gonna skip purchasing it and move on to something else. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and kick this inaugural episode off with the spin. All right, Red Breast Kentucky Oak. Let me go ahead and grab this off the shelf when we get into the video. All right, here we go, Red Breast Kentucky Oak. Before I get this going, I just wanna let you guys know I am not telling you guys how to spend your money. This is merely me going over my whiskey collection and letting you know how I would spend my money. I understand that whiskey prices are through the roof right now. I'm also having a YouTube channel that dictates what I buy and what I don't buy. So keep that in mind as I go through this. Redbreast is definitely one of my favorites. So right off the bat, I'm a little bit biased on this. This is a fruit forward, sugary sweet nose. Since this is finished in white American oak, I get a lot of vanilla. On the back end, there's a little bit of the pot still spice. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. 101 proof, burning in the throat, burning in the chest. Heavy vanilla and toffee. If you like sweet whiskeys, you'll like this one. Again, on the nose, I get that pot still spice. On the palate, it's very fruit forward and very sweet. To me, when we talk about caramel, toffee, and butterscotch, they all lump together. There's definitely either a toffee, butterscotch, or caramel note into this. I'm also getting an apple, a green apple flavor. On the very back end, I get that traditional red breast flavor, that buttery shortbread cookie flavor, but this is dominated by vanilla, caramel, toffee, and butterscotch. Maybe not so much butterscotch, but definitely toffee and caramel. I think it's got a good amount of heat, fantastic nose, and very sweet on the palate. I'm a big fan of single pot still Irish whiskeys. The unmalted and the malted barley, with the sweet, with the spice, well balanced, and this is no different. The way that it arrives, big time sweetness. You're hit with the vanilla, a little bit of barrel tannin on the back, big spice in the back, the traditional shortbread cookie, way back behind the vanilla. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. In Phoenix, Arizona, this is coming in at $119.99. I picked this up because I am a completionist, if that's a word. All of my red breasts are right here on the shelf. I believe I have all the offerings that are readily available to me. With that being said, if this is a series, I will definitely pick up the next series. So is this a sip it or skip it? For me, this particular bottle is a skip. It's way too much money for me to continue to buy this. I will sparingly use this in my tastings, in my flights, as a comparison. But once this bottle is gone, it's gone. I am not going to replace it. So it's going to be a skip it for me. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a very good whiskey for me and my taste and my palate. And for what Red Breast offers, I think they did a really good job here combining the bourbon flavors, the traditional bourbon flavors, along with the Irish pot still. If this was in the $80 range, I would definitely be sipping on this and replace it once the bottle is gone. So with that, the initial video for Sip It and Skip It is completed. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this format, these quick to the point videos. I needed to think of a way to share my collection with you guys without having these long format Monday videos. If you like this content and you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Leave some comments down below if you know anything about Red Breast Kentucky Oak. Like the video if you're so inclined. Share it with somebody in the whiskey world that might get enjoyment out of this. And until next time, enjoy your journey. Bye.